What is up guys, Grenader here, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an overlay for your YouTube channel. Now, what an overlay is really quickly, let me explain. An overlay is basically what it sounds like. It's an overlay that goes on top of your video that allows you to basically just promote your channel, promote uh, whatever website, channel, store, whatever you want to promote, you can promote it. Now I'm going to try a new form of video editing right now and it's going to be a cut tutorial commentary. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say, but you'll kind of get the gist of it as I start explaining the steps of the tutorial. So as you've seen already, this is the final product. This is what you're going to get. But beforehand, let me start off by just telling you what you need. First of all, you need some sort of font that you like, and you can access these fonts by going to thefont.com, which I'll link in the description down below. And as for the icon you want to use, you simply just Google whatever you want to Google, and then add icon PNG to your search and it will come up with all the results you need. So we're first going to start by opening up a fresh new canvas and by that I mean just click file new and enter the resolution you want to work at. Alright so first things first um, what helps me when I'm editing and stuff like that because the text is white I like to uh, color in the black the black round the black round the background black background black that is a tongue twister now after you've done so create a new layer and click on the text tool now choose the font you want to use and just click anywhere in the canvas and type in the text you want to use in this case I'm using this font called Longshot. if you'd like to use this exact same font check the description down below and download it now if you don't know how to download a font I'll link another video of mine so where you can learn and you can watch and you can experience what it's like to download a font. Now moving forward, you want to place a background image to sort of simulate what it would look like if you finished it. So what you're going to do is add a new layer, which I've already done. Go to file, go to place and go to your desktop or wherever you have some sort of like screenshot saved. And let's see, let's see where I don't see. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here is this picture that I'm going to use, or this um, the same exact image you saw in the beginning that I'm going to use just to measure how big or how accurate it will look like. So um, right now you can't see the text because it is on the bottom layer and it has to be on the top layer. So now that it's on the top, you can see it. And now what we're going to do is adjust the size of the text to conform with the video. Okay, so every single text font is very very different and unique in its own way so what I ended up using as you can see is a size 89 or 90 font and some of you might need a bigger font or a smaller font but just try to minimize the size of the text because you don't want the text to overpower the viewer and take away from your video so you want to promote but at the same time you don't want to distract the viewer from your video so now that you have your text as big as you want it and it's just the right size, you want to zoom in by hitting control plus plus or control minus minus and it's not really plus plus. What I'm trying to say is that you hold control and you hit the plus key and the minus key accordingly to how much you want to zoom in. Now I'm not sure if this is the same on a Mac or any other platform of software or whatnot, but this is what it's like on Windows. Now if we compare and contrast these two pictures here, you can see that this overlay that I have here has like a bar coming out from the G and that is simply aesthetic. If you want that bar, just go ahead and do the following. First of all, you want to create a new layer and you want to click on the rectangular shape tool. Now you want to create a rectangle sort of like this one that covers up um, your name and your logo. Now you want to adjust it so that it's not all the way touching the letter. So what I'm trying to say, you don't want this line to touch the letters. You only want it to touch the G. But first you want it to sort of levitate under th the text. So let me show you what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to add another layer and another rectangle and I'm basically just going to make it seem as if the G is connected to 
the uh, the white lines. So as you can see, we're ha I'm having trouble here putting these rectangles together. Now what we can do to ease off the the pain of doing this, you can basically pull out one of these rulers or ruler markers as so and put it right on the edge of the G. And now it'll just snap right to it and you can hit control T to adjust the size of the rectangle and make it fit just right. You hit enter to accept the transformations and you basically just lower down your second rectangle. And if we click off for a second, it looks like it's almost there, but as you can see, <laughs> this little sliver of pixels is still there. So I'm gonna hit Control T once again and enlarge it just a bit, hit enter. And if we click off, it looks way better than it was before. And you know, not everybody is a fan of the line underneath your name, but if you're a fan of that, then go ahead and do so. Or what you can do to alleviate that, that satisfaction that you want to have from the, the line, instead of putting a line under it, you can put a box around it. And this, the process is the same for that. Now I'm gonna put a box around the Grenader text just to show you guys an example of how it works. And you basically add a new layer and you get the rectangle tool and you draw a box around the text. Now, as you can see, the stroke is at a white and the fill is at a black. The fill you want to change to no fill because you only want to strike or no, you, you don't want, you only want a stroke, but you don't want to fill. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, the reason it looks this big is because I had it all the way up to here, but uh, you really just want maybe like a one to three. I'm going to do three and I'm going to change the line pattern to a solid line. And now that I'm thinking about it, I probably want just a one point um, stroke. Okay, so I put the box around the text and I ended up changing it to a 2.5 point um, stroke. So now it looks a bit thicker, but it's not overpoweringly thick. And now it looks a whole lot better when you're, you can click off of, if you click off of the rectangle and off of the text and onto something else, you can actually see what it'll look like. And I like the look of it so far. So now I'm going to add the icon. Adding the icon is probably the easiest part as to uh, only you, you basically only have to place it. So you create a new layer, you go to file, go to place, and you find the icon. And here it is. You can use any icon you want. You drag it down here and you shrink it. You don't want to make it too small, but you don't want to make it too big. So hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. So we're going to zoom in. I'm going to scroll down and we want to get right where the logo's at. And it's right here. So what we're going to do is move it next to it. As you can see, way too small. You want to make it just as big as the text is. That's a rule of thumb that you can use. And um, I'm going to tilt it just a little bit to the side, like so. Put it above that and enter. Um, zoom out a bit. And that looks pretty good. I like the look of that. And what you can do is you can double click on that layer and put a stroke on it. See how good it looks. Um, this one doesn't look so good with the stroke because it looks like they added some sort of shadowing to the icon so it doesn't look good with that. So what I'm going to do instead is drop a shadow on it. And actually, I'm not gonna drop a shadow on it just yet. I'm going to group these three separate um, pieces together. So how you do that is you click either on the bottom or the top, you hold shift and you click um, to the other side. So basically you start here, you end here, and you hold shift along that pattern. You right click, convert to smart object, and now if you hide that, it's just one solid piece. And now if you add a drop shadow, it should drop shadow everything. And I'm going to mess around with the spread and the size like that and opacity I don't want it to overpower but I want it to be there 
a slight little bit and then you can go a step further and go to gradient overlay uh, click on the overlay itself drag this white marker to the middle and pull this little diamond marker to the middle as well so there's a sharp cut like that and you want to sort of play around with this cut like that and you want to get you want to get the line to be in the middle of the text sort of like that and you want to hit okay and then you slowly start easing off the opacity and you can use your arrows on your keyboard and you can just you know um, num you know individually number by number just go down until you get this sort of like reflective look so you can either go to zero and start adding it little by little until you get that reflective like chrome look so I think I already got it right there it looks pretty good and if we zoom in and we scroll down a bit we go this way you can see that chrome looking thing and honestly I think this turned out pretty good and now how you save it is that you turn off this layer you turn off the background layer and now you have this transparent layer which you you can just basically just file save as uh, save as whatever you want to save it uh, save it as a PNG so it can save the transparency save hit OK it's it's done saving and all you got to do now is just admire your beautiful beautiful overlay and you can just overlay this on top of any video that you wish so once again thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like down below and leave a comment if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe for more content just like this thanks for watching Merry Christmas happy holidays and I hope you have an amazing day peace out